that you're now increasing revenue without increasing sales or marketing cost. Mm -hmm. So not only are we 5Xing our top line revenue, we're actually scaling our profit really big. The purpose of a business is to support the risk taker, the person that is taking the risk, the person that's investing, the person that is you know, going above and beyond to ensure the business succeeds, yes. which is the entrepreneur and the business owner. For every new client you bring in, that's going to turn to two clients, three clients, four clients and beyond. That's why we call it the infinite referral system. Welcome to The Takeover with Tim and Cindy, where we show you how to dominate every area of life and business. Let's get winning. Welcome back to The Takeover with Tim and Cindy. Ladies and gents, you are in for a treat because we are going to walk you through a five part series on how to grow your business to make more money, make more impact, and ultimately remove yourself from the business, which is a lot of business owners goal. How do you exit? How do you sell your company? How do you get to a point where you don't have to be working in the business, but you can actually work on the business? And this comes from real life experience, scaling our agency to multiple seven figures, but also building offers and sales teams for multiple eight and nine figure companies. So we're going to be dishing out the secret sauce, but more specifically, the exact formula to build and scale your business. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about this episode just because there's nothing we're holding back here. Yes. I mean... Cindy and I were talking uh, right before this episode and I was like, let's just make sure we don't hold any secret. Mm. Like, let's make sure that we literally give all of all of the wisdom that we've built on doing this for our company, for other companies, all of the the programs that we've been through and paid for. Like, let's just give it all. I love it. And so this this series is literally going to be if you truly desire to build a company that makes money that 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 can eventually run and grow without you present. That if you want to sell it someday, this will be the foundation. Uh, and but also if you just want to have a, a smaller business that that is you don't end up having to be a slave to, right? Mm -hmm. Like a smaller business that serves you better anywhere in between. These foundational steps are going to apply to any business period yes, yes so it's five episodes and we want you to lock in on every single episode from today moving forward because we're gonna dive deep on every episode into that specific part mm. of the formula and you want to make sure that you don't miss it so that you can see the full picture of how to grow and scale your business and we have never released this kind of information yep. ever before so you are hearing it here first if you are a listener of the takeover if you are a subscriber you're hearing this here first and it's going to be an absolute game changer for your business we promise you so in part one we want to give you an overview of that formula and even before we dive into the steps we want to frame how to think about growing and scaling your business. Because yeah. I think what we're going to talk about is really important, not just the steps to get there, but how to think about your yeah, business and 100%. really transforming that. Yeah. So Tim, you and I talk about the 90-10 rule. What is that? 90-10 is that 90% of a healthy business that can run and grow without the owner present, 90% of that is process. Mm. 10% of that is, is customization, meaning 90% of all businesses will have a very similar type process. And a lot of times people think, well, my business is so different and so unique and my customers are different aliens from a different planet mm -hmm. and, and over and, and I've done the same thing. I've, I've told people, you don't understand our, our business is different. And I, I want to just challenge anybody that thinks that or, or says that, that if your business is so much different than all others, and then you're, you're not going to be able to have a business that runs and grows without you. So mm -hmm. I want to I challenge you with the 90-10 rule. And we've worked with over 700 clients at this point. So we've seen this over and over again. 90% yes. of what it takes to grow a business is the 
almost the exact same process. Mm -hmm. And then 10% is that customization. Yes. So the 90-10 rule is that 90% is just foundational core processes and principles mm -hmm. that can apply to any business. And then 10% is that customization for unique businesses and for, you know, your type of client, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, absolutely. So as you're going into this, ladies and gents, and you're diving into every part of this scaling formula, make sure that you're keeping that 90-10 rule in mind yep. because 90% of what we're going to talk about, you can apply specifically for your business and then 10 percent of it you're of course going to have to customize but we don't want you to eliminate or exclude yourself yes. from this because you think your business is different whether you are an online coach or you sell a financial offer or you're a consultant or whatever your service is know that what we're going to share through these episodes you can apply 90 percent of it 10% of it, you're going to have to customize for yes, your specific yes. offer, your specific industry and your specific audience. Yeah. And it's don't, don't check out. I think too often people check out when they're learning information and this is scientifically proven. They check out when they think information is not relevant or they check out when they think they've heard something before. So what I'm going to really challenge mm -hmm. you to is as, as people are going through this episode, uh, and the rest of the series is to make sure, number one, you're not checking out because you think it doesn't apply. Start asking, how could this apply to my business? And mm -hmm. then number two, if you hear something that feels like you've heard it before, be intentional to listen for new information because you're neurologically, you're going to, your brain is not going to seek deeper information if you've checked out mm -hmm. for, for either of those two things. And I promise you, everybody that has said, oh, my business is different is is not going to get results from this but everybody that it says hey how can i apply this to my business yeah i've heard some of this stuff before but how let me find the new information because mm -hmm. obviously you know if you're not already running a eight nine figure business that you can exit and runs and grows without you that means that there's a lack of information or execution that you don't have yeah and so you're gonna have to execute on it but th we're gonna go over the information so if there's if you're not already there then listen. And one thing is, is I promise you those that are already at nine figures, if they're listening to this, they will listen for new information. Mm, and good. that is why they've become, you know, eight, nine mm -hmm. figure and beyond companies because they're always looking for a new piece, a slightly new angle. I know this, but maybe there's some different angle that they're going to bring. And that's why they've built that kind of success. So I'm going to challenge anybody listening to start thinking like a, you know, a hundred millionaire, like a billionaire mm. and look for that new information in, in this content. So good. So good. I love that you mentioned that. So let's give everyone an overview of the formula to scaling. Mm. So part one, it starts with magnetizing your market through lead generation. Yep. Why do we start at the leads? Number one is you think about growing a business, you have to have interested people that want to buy your product. Everybody wants to build a product first and then go sell it. But you actually have to sell an, an idea or an offer first and then and then build the product to fulfill in that promise. Mm. And the big mistake that a lot of people make is that they, they try to build the product first. We want to go out there and maybe you already have a product. Either way, we need a, a rushing river of hungry prospects that are wanting to they need help with your service because any business to scale with health to scale well and to be able to run and grow without you needs a systematized way to get interested people that need your service knocking on your door and interested on, on just a regular a, a steady flow from multiple channels. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Part of what we're going to discuss in part one around lead generation is where to start, yeah. right? Because there are so many different marketing channels and avenues that you can potentially use to generate leads. Yeah. However, where a lot of business owners get stuck is that they either don't know what channel to use or what avenue to you know, pursue, or they don't know how to properly execute to get the outcomes that are possible with yeah. that channel. So we want to dispel some myths around lead generation in that specific episode, as well as paint the picture on exactly how you can magnetize your market so that you have consistent yep. lead flow coming in. And then you can move into part two of the scaling formula, which is to sell more to scale more and specifically how to build a commission only sales team so that you can remove yourself from the sales and have your business run and grow without you. I want you to think 
at this point, your business has a steady flow of new people raising their hands saying, I want to talk to you about your service coming in. This next phase is about creating an opportunity for other people to sell those interested prospects, mm. which now you have a business that is creating an opportunity to solve a problem for your clients because you have a steady flow of these new new people and, and you're not having to sell it because now you have people you've put in place to say, hey, we, we want you to close these clients. They're already knocking on our door. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, you're not having to generate the leads yourself. You're not having to close the leads yourself. And now you have a business at least at, the, at this phase, at this step, that can grow without you present. Mm -hmm. And so I think this is going to be a really, really good uh, episode as we go through the step two to how do you how do you put some people in place based on commission only? So these people are only getting paid if they perform. Yes. How do you put those people in place to grow the business while you're off in Aruba or you're mm -hmm. doing something else with the company or you're on a podcast like we're doing now? Yeah. So that I'm really, really excited for that episode. So you, you, like you can tell I'm, I'm, I'm already going there. I'm already going there. <laughs> yes, yes. So that was part two, which is how to scale again with commission only sales reps. So that takes us really nicely into part three or step three, which is how to 5x your revenue with your existing client base. Yeah, I think what I love about, <laughs> I love all of these because they've made so much impact for us and for our clients. And, and, and it truly is, if you see any great uh, successful business, they have these components. So it's, it's not some big secret, but we're putting all of the information that we've gathered, gathered over the years that we've executed in our business and other people, we're putting it in a very, very dense uh, series to really help people out. And the best part about uh, when you're thinking about how do you 5x your revenue without doing new customer generation, yes, we still want to create new clients. But how could you 5x your revenue with the current amount of clients you have without having to do marketing? And this is where mm -hmm. we start going into how do you deliver so well that your customer wants to keep buying more and more and more and more from you, yes. which means that you're now increasing revenue without increasing sales or marketing cost. Mm -hmm. So not only are we five Xing our top line revenue, we're actually scaling our profit really big. Yes. And this is how companies, when they get to a certain size, they can make, they can break even on the first purchase the customer makes because they know they make so much revenue and profit on the back end of that customer so they can outspin the entire marketplace. Mm -hmm. they, could, they could do ads, they could do a sales to all this stuff because they know if that customer comes in, on average, they're gonna spend five times more on the back end than they spend on the front end. So you, so healthy companies could literally, not that you want to, but if you had to dominate a marketplace, you could break even, even on that front end product, completely dominate your marketplace and still be highly profitable because you're doing 5X revenue on back end on average. On top of that, we're gonna uh, show a secret that not a lot of people know how to do, and that's how to create an infinite referral system. So you can essentially get enough referrals from your current client base that you can multiply every client that you get with another client. So long-term, you're going for every new client you bring in, that's gonna to turn to two clients, three clients, four clients, and beyond. That's why we call it the infinite referral system. So good. So part three, step three is all about delivery, fulfillment. How do you satisfy so well for your customers, meet their expectations that on the back end you can sell them more? And ultimately, the value of a customer to you five X's, right? Well, you don't, as to mention, have to go out and necessarily get new leads or new customers. You're making so much profit on the back end because you are increasing the lifetime value of a client. Mm. That episode is going to be powerful. Very. I know it's going to change a lot of businesses and shift a lot of perspective around lifetime value. And that takes us really well into part four, also known as step four, which is the freedom formula. How do you create the type of business that you don't have to work in, that you can essentially remove yourself or even work on the areas of the business that you enjoy doing the most, outsource everything else and ultimately earn more money. And I, th it's, if, if you didn't catch that, this is, this is Cindy's expertise right here because she you Delegation. could tell like she went off right there it wasn't just like hey here's <laughs> here's the episode go tim it was like you were on it and so i'm excited 
I'm going to be taking notes in that episode because I know a lot of this information, but I see you personally execute systems, delegation, processes, scale. And I've seen as our company's grown and scaled, uh, I've seen you just do an insane amount of, of this. And so I'm really, really excited because I think whether your, your goal is to be able to sell your company or not, you should build a company that is sellable. Mm -hmm. Like you should build a company that you can exit because the only kind of company that you can sell and exit is a company that runs without you. Yeah. A company that can grow without you. So whether you're going to sell it or exit or not, you want to have a business that can run and grow without you. And that is once we have how to get the a, a high flow of leads, how to build a sales team so that you're not having to do the sales, how do we maximize our LTV, increase our profits, create the infinite referral system. Now it's this final step is going to be, how do you get the business to run and grow without you? And we, we were off in a, a big, like big vacation company was running yes, it was growing it, in fact grew. <laughs> the sales team grew more yes. with me gone I, I think i think they were actually wanting to just kind of prove to us like hey we got this because we had built such a great culture such great systems such mm -hmm. great processes that there was literally no stress on that trip so what would that look like for you to be able to one day exit a company or to be able to say hey we're going to do this two week three week vacation or we're going to take this month off and know that the business will continue to not just run and you come back and you got to fix a bunch, bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. but be able to run, grow, thrive, innovate, yes. and uh, do that without you having to check in every hour. Yes, I love that. In addition, it's building the kind of business that supports your lifestyle and your goals. Mm. Because that's important, right? Yeah. So the purpose of a business is to support the risk taker. The person that is taking the risk, the person that's investing, the person that is you know, going above and beyond to ensure the business succeeds, yes. which is the entrepreneur and the business owner, the business is in place to serve you. And so 100%. how do you build the kind of business that truly does serve you and your goals, the kind of lifestyle that you want, whether you want to be fully in the business as the CEO executing, or you want to be removed from it in some capacity, we're going to show you how to do that in part four which is the final episode what i'm really really excited that you brought up right now is the fact that if you're a business owner i know for me for years i just felt so guilty thinking that the business was designed to serve me mm. and here's the perspective i want people to see is the a business is created to reward the risk taker you that is the that is the goal of a business is to serve the business owner, the person that, that started it, that built it. And the way in which you do that is delivering exceptional client experience, delivering a great product, building great culture, building great processes. But too often times entrepreneurs, we feel guilty. Mm -hmm. We feel guilty that like, oh, I can't say that. I've, I've got to say, no, the purpose of this is, is to make an impact and all that stuff. Great. That's awesome. That's really cool. But also know that the purpose of a business is to reward the business yeah. owner. And if for you, that means that you want to, you want to get to a point where you're, you're speaking on stages and you're doing stuff awesome for you. If that means that you want to uh, get to a point where the business can run and grow and you can be on a trip. Awesome. Whatever that big goal is for yes. you, that is the purpose of your business. And the way in which you do that is great customer service, you know, delivering awesome for your clients, doing uh, creating opportunities for employees, for all, mm -hmm. all of those tools, though, those are tools. They're not the purpose of the company mm -hmm. though. That's, that's so true. That's a, that's a big revelation that we had. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, to recap, ladies and gents, it's going to be a five part series. This is part one that you are in right now. We're doing an overview ultimately to dive into the four steps or the four step formula to scaling your business, which first starts with magnetizing your market to generate more leads. The second part is selling to ultimately build a commission only sales team. The third part is on the delivery and maximizing lifetime value so you can ultimately 5x your revenue without adding more clients. And then the last part is all about how do you build a freedom formula, the kind of business that supports you and your lifestyle goals. I'm, I'm just so excited for this because 
all of the the time, the energy, the the investments we've made, the, the mistakes. mistakes we've made, <laughs> yes. the pains, the, the the sleepless nights. This can literally people. This is going to shortcut you. This is those those pitfalls that that we fell into. You don't have to fall into them. The 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 difficulties we're in. We're gonna save you so much time, energy, and effort over these next few years if you really apply the lessons here because. These are things that we we learn school of hard knocks and, and working with clients and working with other people and blah 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 blah. I'm really excited to help people out, not have to go through some of the same difficulties that we went to get to get here. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So every episode is going to dive deep into the topic. So we want to make sure that you're taking notes, that you are present, show up for every episode, come back and re-listen to it if yeah. you need to. We're going to be releasing these episodes over the next few weeks. So we're excited, lock in, and let's help you scale. Let's scale your business this year. Yeah, 100%. There's no reason why you can't. I mean, it's, there's so, if you have a, a good problem that you solve for your clients, this formula, these processes are going to give you all of the other pieces that you need to just get a bunch of clients, get a great team and how, and build the systems and processes for a business to just run and grow without you. So if that's your goal and dream, definitely uh, bookmark these, save these, make sure you're subscribed. So when the next videos come out, you get them and uh, yeah, come, come back and rewatch these. Just, just like Cindy said, I'm, I'm going to rewatch these. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. And remember the 90, 10 rule, as we spoke about 90% is repeatable processes. 10% is how you're going to customize them for your business. So this is the takeover with Tim and Cindy. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you get a notification the moment a new episode is released. We don't want you to miss it. We'll see you in part two. Bye for now.